Okay, okay go for Helen. Um, yeah, can we lose the, uh, the flag grind, yeah, the, uh, okay. the craft uh, services uh, okay. table and start getting a, a hunk of a good old American cheese. You got it. Okay, stand by. Cookie, can I have some names, please? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to, got it? Level Hang on. Okay, here we go. Right okay, everybody, one. I need, I need to two. focus. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be player playing? One, got it. Got okay, it. now, player one, I need one, your name. One. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, singer. You guys got that in there? Okay, player two, how about you? 45 okay. seconds. All right, player three, you know the drill. Um, I'm One other thing, are you looking for a seven question tournament game? Yeah, gotcha. 30 seconds. Player one, you've got Q as your buzzer. Q, like quack. Player two, your buzzer is the letter B as in you're my best friend. And player three, you've got the letter P as in uh, Chevy pickup truck. The Wisconsin Dell? Say that again. Louder. Well, get your gloves again. on, because I need you to flood out that key light. 20 seconds. Okay, heads up. Here's how the game works. The first one of you to buzz in on a question gets first stab at the answer. So you buzz in, and then you press 1, 2, 3, or 4, depending on which answer you want. You read me? 10 seconds. Okay, everybody, and be quiet. 86 the desktop, please. Okay, and go to black, please. Post standby. Okay, ready, come on, go. Okay, here we go. And dial. One nine hundred tart feet. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. All right. We got ourselves a trio, a triangle, a love triangle, a menage a trois. Maybe I should lay out some newspapers. <laughs> what a motley crew you three are. I hope you washed your hands before touching my keyboard. That's right, it's my keyboard now. All right, first of all, we got to pass out some hardware here. Here you go, one screw for each of you. Dig this. So you get a question and you know that your neighbor knows that you know that neither of you know what the hell the answer is. Then you better be the first to buzz in and hit the S key. That's how you screw your neighbor. It forces them to answer that question. Remember, if you're going to get screwed, screw first. Okay, it's time to jack. Let's do the category thing. Category player two, let's do it. The category behind this question is, put your head between your knees and kiss your ass goodbye. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. According to the FAA, which of these emergency instructions complies with federal regulations for airline safety? Do forward roll down evacuation slide, brace head under folded down tray table, use oxygen mask before your child, or seek refuge in overhead compartment. Go for it, player three. Remember, contents of the overhead compartment may shift during the flight. Player one, player one go nuts. Wow, that was a bad guess. Player two, go for it, player two. Ow! Actually, adults are supposed to put on their masks first and then assist their children. Dad, you're hogging all the oxygen. Shut up and wait your turn. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Look, you do. It's question number two. The category is CB lingo. This question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. Listen carefully. After a long night's hauling, you pull your Kenworth into a truck stop for breakfast. A fellow truck driver notices your clothes and says, "How you doing? Are you the polyester pirate?" You answer, "Yes, sir. That's my blank." Ten nine, baby, John Hancock or Handel? <laughs> Handel. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the composer, good buddy. Player three, select a category. question three. This one's gonna be, are you gonna eat that? And this one's gonna be worth $3,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Which kind of caviar would an entomologist be interested in studying? Iranian caviar, Latin caviar, Mexican caviar. Go for it, player one. 
Mexican caviar because it's made from waterfly larva. Player one, give me a category. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Here's the category. Bowel problems. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Which is longest? The average small intestine, the average large intestine, two It's the small intestine. At an average of 21 feet, it's a good thing it's curled up. Player one, pick one. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Dying on stage. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. According to popular legend, how was Aeschylus, the father of Greek tragedy, comically killed? Trampled to death by eager theater patrons, struck on the head by a falling tortoise, speared by a javelin thrown by the lead actor, or crushed by a falling trumpet? I think not. Go for it, player three. Trampled to death by eager theater patrons. Uh, I think that only happens at modern rock concerts. Go for it. Uh, apparently the tortoise was dropped by an eagle flying over the theater. Yeah, I'll tell you, everybody's a critic. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Uh-oh, West Truck licks nine more. It's time for a... This gibberish questions category is breakfast cereal and auto repair. Five grand is the opening value for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Now, you know there's no screwing your neighbor in this kind of a question. You ready to untangle some gibberish? Let's do it. What does this rhyme with? Melly, grab it. Mix car door skids. Hit number one, it's from a commercial. Player three, type in your answer and hit return. Uh. Wait a second. Hey, look, you guys, it's really the rabbit trying to steal our cereal. Millie, grab it. Mix card or skids. Three, pick a category. Zabba dooba dabbin, question seven. Next up, chronology and motion sickness. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Imagine you and a friend are paddling a canoe on an exciting whitewater river trip. A big rock is directly ahead at 12 o'clock and a fallen tree at 10 o'clock. Suddenly, your friend vomits all over his shirt. If you're in the bow and he's in the stern, where is the vomit in relation to you? 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 7.45? The bow's in the front facing 12 o'clock, so your friend and his shirt are in the stern at 6 o'clock. For your sake, I hope there's a strong headwind because the stench of vomit doesn't care what time it is. Player one, give me a category. The name in this category is What Every Good American Should Know. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Have you been studying your state capitals? Well, that's not going to help you at all. What is the national motto of the United States of America? In God we trust, all men are created equal, deus ex machina, or kumbaya. No, that's incorrect, and it was also written before slavery was abolished, so it's even more wrong. Go for it, player. Oh, <laughs> sorry. In God we trust. So much for separation of church and state. Okay, we need a category from player three. Number nine. Oh, it's do, 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 do. Nine. The category, U.S. Presidents on Let's Make a Deal. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. If you were on Let's Make a Deal and you turned down four bills with Grant's picture on them for just one with Lincoln's, what kind of deal did you make and why? A bad deal because you lost money, bad deal because there's no bill with Grant on it, good deal because you made money or didn't matter because amounts are the same. <laughs> Player one, go nuts. Oh, yes, there is. You've obviously never had one. <laughs> oh, go. Oh, sliced it. 
Grant's on the 50, Lincoln's on the 5. You would have lost money. Unless, of course, the Grant pictured was Lou Grant, then you could have thrown Monty in jail for counterfeiting. What do you say, Player 2? How about it? Yo, have you been with nasty number 10? The category is Bugs Bunny, Carrot Addict. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Bugs Bunny's at a wedding and he needs a carrot fix really badly because it's also known as the wild carrot, which decorative plant from the wedding bouquet might help ease his craving. Casablanca Lily, Queen Anne's Lace, English Ivy, or... Player... <laughs> Player 2, you're getting screwed. It'd taste like crap, but he'd eat it. Now, Bugs, you're supposed to catch the bouquet. <laughs> Oh, by the way, guess what, player one? You're the one who's screwed. We've got ten questions down, and for ten more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> Getting out some screws here, and uh, I don't know who put all these safety pins in here, but uh, okay, here we go, one for everyone. Now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. Let's have a category, player two. The category behind this question is truancy and pubescent television teenagers. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Imagine a crazy Save by the Bell episode where Zach tries to get out of a week of school by lying to Mr. Belding, the principal. Zach tells Mr. Belding he has cephalalgia. Screech ruins his plans by accidentally explaining that Zach has what? A runny nose, a headache, brain waves, or a hair appointment. Blair One, who do you want to stick it to today? Player three, don't brainwaves? I don't think so. Have you seen this show? <laughs> Got answered. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> Player. Uh, hi. I have a two o'clock styling appointment with cephalalgia. <laughs> well, that was impressive. <laughs> A headache. Just like the one you'll have after back-to-back -back episodes of Saved by the Bell. Player two, pick one. Uh-oh, Test Nut Slick Crime Store. Once again, it's time for a Jigger Lick Test Drive. Here's your gibberish category. Angry guys and sleep deprivation. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10,000 bucks. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Remember, you can't screw on a gibberish question. You ready? Let's see if you can untangle this one. What does this rhyme with? Surly Hugh said, curly new thighs. Hit number one, it's a rule for staying fit. It's also a rule for staying rich and smart. Take away player three, type it. Makes a man healthy, wealthy, and pretty damn boring if you ask me. Player three, pick a category for me. Black cat, heart attack, do you nightmare when you dream? Are you feeling lucky? It's number 13. Here's the category. Up your nose with a rubber senator. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. During a meeting of the student council at James Buchanan High School, a bill is introduced to limit how tight any one student can wear his jeans. In response, Vinny gets on the floor and talks for an hour. He then sings his Barbarino song for several more. What is Vinny attempting to do? A filibuster. Vinny would be making an attempt to stall the voting on a bill. And isn't it great that Buchanan High uses the same incredibly efficient and intelligent parliamentary rules as the U.S. Congress? Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Fourteen! This one's gonna be more big hair and men in makeup. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. What's that 80s band? 
You know, they're named for a character in that Barbarella movie, and their name is really repetitive, and they sing about being hungry like a wolf in some river called Rio. Who are they? Are they in a... Duran Duran. Yeah, we haven't heard a lot from them lately due to the big eyeliner shortage in England. Player one, pick one. It's question 15. The category. This play is garbage. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If the setting for Thornton Wilder's Our Town were renamed in honor of the Sesame Street character who lives in a trash can, what? Oscar's Corners. Oscar the Grouch. The play is actually set in Grover's Corners, New Hampshire. Of course, that's before they started letting in all that green trash. Player one, give me a category. Question number 16. And I like it too. Next up, freeze. You forgot to sign your claim form. Hello, this one's going to be worth $6,000. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Which of the following 1970s crime dramas feature the hard-hitting, action-packed, down-and-dirty life of a detective who solves crimes to collect insurance claims? Player Player one. This might sting a little. Banachek. The undercover underwriter. Okay, we need a category. Your chicky jack is gone. Let me hear you scream. It's question 17. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Honest, Mom, it's just a fantasy. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Imagine, if you will, this episode of Fantasy Island. A young woman tells Mr. Rourke that her fantasy is to murder her mother and marry her father. Tattoo a student of Freud explains to Mr. <laughs> An edible fantasy? Uh, maybe if she were a he. <laughs> player two, player <laughs> If she gets rid of her mom and marries her dad, it's an electro fantasy. <laughs> Ah, uh, that Mr. Rourke, he really brings families together. Player 3, select a category. Song to City. The name of this category is... Syndromes and the End of the World. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. If the entire world were suddenly plagued by the following syndromes, which one would immediately end population growth on the planet? Toxic shock syndrome, premenstrual syndrome, Chinese restaurant syndrome, or Turner syndrome? <laughs> Turner syndrome. <laughs> It's a disorder that affects only females, but all carriers are rendered infertile. Okay, we need a category. Ooh, baby, the category is Breaker 1-9. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Okay, listen carefully. You're driving your Peterbilt on a stretch of highway just west of Des Moines at 10.25 a.m. You're hauling dairy products, and your on-air nickname is the Brown Banana. What's your 10.20? Peterbilt, the Brown Banana, dairy products, or just west of Des Moines? Go for it, player three. I've been just west of Des Moines. A lot of, uh, corn. Player three, pick a category for me. This one's gonna be, if you don't like the way I play the game, sue me. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Hang on tight, cause here we go. Leaners, hobbers, and stakes would be an appropriate name for a law firm specializing in representation of what kind of professional athlete? Buzz in, then answer. Hey, I said buzz in first. What did I just say? You said buzz in. Yeah. Hey, block it, block it. Player two. Leaners, hobbers, and stakes. All terms associated with horseshoes. Not to be confused with wieners, robbers, and snakes. The law firm I go to. Let's have a category, player two. Time for the attack. Buzz in when two words match, and you got 2,000 bucks. Buzz in when there isn't a match, and you lose 2,000. And don't forget, it's not any old match we're looking for. It's the one that fits this clue. A match made in cartoon land. 
You got that? Let's see how many matches you can find in this. Uh, yeah, I'm checking it out. Hey, uh, listen, you got a four-play game. Could you just let me know?